What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. I'm too cool to start off being geek. Welcome to my channel. I'm about to dive right into Iron Fifth Season Two. Y'all, this season was phenomenal, actually. Y'all, like it almost lost me towards the end, like episode seven, eight, when they were putting Colleen as the Iron Fist. I was like, what is Danny doing? Like, what is the show trying to accomplish? I didn't know it was trying to accomplish giving us three Iron Fist in one season. Yo, that was just mind blowing. Like the ending, like the final, final moments of the season save it all. You know what I'm saying? Not saying it was bad. The action sequence was still phenomenal. Do I think it would have been more like meaningful if Davos and Danny would once went toe to toe but Colleen in the mix did help the action sequence a lot more. The action sequences were phenomenal this season. There was a lot more of them, probably because they only had 10 episodes, so they weren't as cheap as they normally are. They're still cheap, though. That's the only one of the biggest downfalls. The story's strong enough to make you be like, okay, I, I, I accept the cheapness, but it was a great story, man. Like, what, what else can I say? Uh, the. Joy and Ward Meacham had interesting paths this season. Season 1 it seemed like Joy was on Danny's side and Ward was just fighting his own demons. Here Ward was fighting his own demons while also being on Danny's side while also trying to you know, get his sister back. There's a lot of things that happened. Then you got Joy who was just angry. Angry. Crazy angry. Like dangerous. Angry. You know what I'm saying? Like if she carried on the path she was seemed like she was so intended to go on a lot of worse things could have happened because that was full on invested in his path yo how many people did Davos kill like yes ass like Danny and Matthew need to have a talk be like yo dude I'm gone for like a year and this is what Chinatown look like <laughs> but Charlie uh, uh Colleen's got things down now you know what I'm saying Misty and Colleen's team up. Like half of the season felt like it was Iron Fist and the Daughters of the Dragon. That's why I was iffy. I was like, is this Iron Fist or the Daughters of the Dragon? Because they do low key deserve their own show. Like they can't separate from this point. But like the Daughters of the Dragon and Iron Fist, Danny and Ward going on their adventures like they were there. The two Iron Fist were awesome. The Iron Fist sword was awesome. That was feel like he did what he had to do doesn't need to come back but it will be cool to see him come back see his character grow probably see him resent what he did his relationship with his mother was also an interesting thing to visit the dynamic was interesting as hell anyway this season for now I give it like an 8 out of 10 it's, it was way better than season 1 character wise anyway subscribe if you haven't subscribed deuces